What are logarithms and where do they come from? In the mid-1500s, two mathematicians, one by the name of John Napier, the other Eust Berge, wanted to find an easier way to do calculations with really large numbers. While using different methods, both simultaneously used a type of logarithm to come up with reference tables. These tables would be used in order to make calculations with really large numbers a lot easier and a lot quicker. In 1615, a man named Henry Briggs wrote to John Napier asking to collaborate. Napier responded positively, and Henry Briggs made the 400-mile journey to Edinburgh. Briggs suggested that they create reference tables with logarithms using a common base, base 10, which is still used today. Unfortunately, Napier passed away before they could rewrite the tables, leaving Henry Briggs to do much of the work on his own. To understand the content of the tables, think about what you already know about logarithms. Log base 10 of 1 equals 0, and log base 10 of 10 equals 1. But what about everything in between? Keep in mind that they didn't have calculators at the time to do these calculations. Therefore, Briggs created and published these tables so that they could be used by scientists and mathematicians to do calculations with large numbers quickly. Meanwhile, in Switzerland, a clockmaker by trade, Eust Berge, was working on similar tables using a geometric sequence. This foundational work with logarithms was later used by other famous mathematicians. Gottfried and Johann worked to establish a meaning for logs of imaginary and negative numbers. Euler developed function notation and the very important use of the letter E, which is known as Euler's number. In addition to numerous other contributions, these mathematicians helped develop what we understand a logarithm to be today. With the invention of computing devices, we no longer use the reference tables established so long ago. Instead, we use logarithms as a function, as well as all the properties that apply. These functions are used to describe the magnitude of earthquakes, pH levels, interest rates, or anything with really large or small numbers. Although math is thought of as concrete, it's important to understand the evolution that happens over time in understanding mathematical concepts. To learn more about logarithms, click on the logarithm playlist.